Welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to identify the slope and the y-intercept of a function from a table. Here's our question. In the table, y is a linear function of x. Which of the following statements about the slope and the y-intercept of the function shown in the table are true? Select the two true statements. I'm going to ask you to pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your answers. Welcome back. So we are given a table, x and y, of a linear function. So they're telling us it's a statement that this is a linear function, meaning if I graphed these points, it would be a line. So a linear function would be the graph of a line. So every ordered pair x, y would be a point on the line. So if I graph this, negative 1, negative 2 is a point on the line, 0, 1 is a point on the line, and 1, 4 is a point on the line. Now, we are asked to use these six statements to identify which one is true about the slope and which one is true about the y-intercept. We are asked to pick two statements. So we know that the first three of the six are all about the slope, and the second set are all about the y-intercept. So we're going to pick one of a, b, or c, and then one of d, e, and f to identify the slope and the y-intercept of this linear function from this table. So the first thing I want to do is understand what slope is. Slope is a ratio. It's a ratio of the change in y all over the change in x. You may have learned to find this by finding rise over run. But I don't have graph paper right here. I have a table of values, so I'm going to show you a different way to do it when you're not graphing. So we're going to find the change in y, which means we're going to find the value that it increases as we go through the table. Negative 2 to 1 is an increase of 3. 1 to 4 is also an increase of 3, which we would expect because all lines have a constant rate of change. So this 3 would be our numerator in our ratio. Now let's find the change in x. So we're going to go from negative 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. So negative 1 to 0 is an increase of 1, as is 0 to 1. So we know that our constant rate of change is 1. So if we were on a graph, we would rise 3 from one point and run 1 to the next. So our ratio is 3 to 1, change in y all over our change in x. And when we simplify that, 3 over 1 is equivalent to 3, telling us that the slope of this function is choice b, 3. Now let's talk about the y-intercept of this function. When a linear function is graphed in the coordinate plane, the y-intercept is the point where it crosses the y-axis. Any point that lies on the y-axis has an x-coordinate of 0. So the only point that will cross the y-axis for this linear function is the ordered pair 0, 1, making the y-intercept of this function 1, telling us that our second answer choice is E because the y-intercept of this function is 1. So there we have it. Our correct answer choices our choice B and choice E. Then there we found slope and y-intercept of a function from a table. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you come back soon and have a great day.